All right, so we've seen examples of being able to pass uh, our arrays into a method. We've seen that we have this main that is receiving an array of strings. There's an important concept that we need to make sure we get a hold of now that we're dealing with arrays as, as parameters or arguments, and that's, that's this concept of value, passing uh, variables by value or passing them by reference. And this is looks like a lot of uh, fancy, scary stuff, but hopefully it, it's not as scary as it looks, and it's to demonstrate uh, the difference between passing arguments by value and passing arguments by reference. So let me break this down, and hopefully this will this will clear this this idea up. I have set aside a test values method, and in this method, I'm receiving a primitive data type, which is an int, or it could be a double, but that's the idea behind primitive data types, and this uh, array, which is an array of ints. So this is not considered a primitive data type. This is an array of primitive data types, but the array itself is no longer a primitive data type, and so we have to it, it's treated a little bit differently. And let me see if I can explain what that means in terms of our arrays and passing them between uh, between methods. What I've done here is this is simply outputting some a line of, of asterisks. And I'm demonstrating, now that we're inside this test values, I want to, whatever value I receive, whatever I receive in my int, I'm going to multiply that by 2, and then I'm going to print that out for demonstration. And then this is simply looping through our arrays, Look, looping through that array and multiplying whatever is in that array, multiplying it by 2 and putting it back into the array. Okay, And then here I'm printing it out. All right, so that's all that this method is doing. It's receiving a integer and it's multiplying it by 2 and it's printing it out. It's receiving an array of integers and multiplying those values by 2 and putting those values back into the array. Okay. So let's look in our main. Okay, in our main we have a value 1, so I have an integer that I set up with an initial value of 10. And then I went through, I created a array with two placeholders, and then I looped through that array and simply filled it up with i, I oh, 1 and 2, 0, 1 and, I guess 0, 1 and 2. Okay. 0, 1, 2, alright, 0 and 1, because it's only two places. Alright, so a 0 and a 1, so I have a placeholder for two slots, and I put in a 0 and 1. Okay, then I'm simply printing it out so you can see what those values are before we call the method. So before we call the method, value is 10, values of 0 is 0, values of 1 is 1. Okay, that's all this is doing. And so here's where that concept of value uh, by value and by reference comes into play. When I call that method we saw just a few minutes ago, I'm sending it both the integer and the array. Okay? The difference here is when value gets sent, value 1 gets sent over, if you think of copy and paste, what's happening is we're creating a copy of this value, in our case it's 10. A copy of this variable is being sent to our, uh, our method. So when this method changes this value, so when the value gets multiplied by 2, that value, which is now 20, is only changed here within this method. Okay, because it was just a copy of the variable that was sent. So you have to think of it like copying and pasting. The original variable sits by itself and holds the number 10. 10 is sent to this variable. A copy is, is maintained, so now I have somewhere in memory value 1 that has 10. I now have the value, which gets multiplied by 2, now the value has 20, and value 1 still has 10. That's because these are primitive types, and primitive types 
send exactly their values because that's what the va that's what this variable holds is that value. And hopefully this makes sense as I plug along here. Okay, so that's pretty simple. So when I when I exit back from test values and it does what it's supposed to do, it multiplies the value by two and it's going to print out twenty. When I return back to the main, I no longer have access to the value, and value 1 still holds 10. It didn't get changed because it sent a copy of itself. Okay, So that's sending by value is, is the term we use. <clears throat> the array, however, because it's not a primitive data type, Remember that values is an array, it's, it's a location in memory. So what gets sent to test values in this array is the location in memory of this variable, of this array. So the copy of the array is not sent, the actual memory location is sent. And since the me memory location is the same, we're just, we get to, we have the address, when we make changes to the value in the array, so here we're looping through and we are changing the value that's in the array and we're multiplying it by 2, because it was sent by reference, because we have the memory address of that original variable, those original values are actually being changed. And so once I print these lines out, I'll see that, I'll see that well, within the test values, it definitely was, those values are multiplied by 2. But when I return back from this method and I print out my array, those array values have been changed. So the original, the primitive data type, which was value 1, that didn't get changed because that got sent to the variable by value, as opposed to the arrays, which sends its actual memory address and that those values are physically changed within this um, within this method. And so the idea behind this is if I run it and all these, these print screens are just to try and enable you to see it. So let's go ahead and run it so we can see it. So uh, run file. And now I should be able to see that happening. So here you can see Again, I just put this code in this print print line so you can follow when it was when the values were sent. But here you can see the value of that integer before we sent our information to the test values. The value one is ten. The value of the array index zero is zero, and the value of array index one is one. Then we're gonna that's where we're at. We're at this line right here just before we made the call. Okay. So then we run the test values method in which 10 was sent, a copy of that variable 10 was sent to the value. So now there's a different location in memory with a variable name, the value, that has 10 in it. Somewhere in memory there's still the value 1 that has 10 in it. So it sent a copy and created a new variable with a copy of that value. And so inside the test method, the value got multiplied by 2 and it's now equal to 20. So that integer value changed because it was a copy. We also changed we also changed the values of our array. Well 0 times 2 is still 0 but 1 times 2 is 2 so now our array index of 1 is equal to 2. It's no longer 1 which it was before we sent it. And then when we return back into our main, recognize that our value 1 didn't change because it was sent as a primitive. It was sent, a copy was sent to the, the uh, method. However, because we sent the array by reference, we now have the changed value. So the memory address was sent instead of the actual, uh, the actual value, the copy. So therefore, Value 1 has not been changed, but the values of our index has been changed. So I'll make sure I put a copy of this code in your directory so you can run through the code and debug it if you want. Hopefully this helps give you an example of the difference between sending the primitive data types which send a copy or by value versus the arrays 
which send their memory address, which is sending a value by reference. 